plea for change tonight at the spot where a suspected drunk driver hit and killed a 17-year-old boy. Neighbors say it's a dangerous location and they are demanding change. CBS 2's Brian Connie Bear has more now from Garrison Beach. It started with a few hugs and tears, then grew into hundreds of people silently marching down Garrettson Avenue in Brooklyn, all in honor of Sean Ryan, the 17-year-old who just graduated high school and was headed to Iona College this fall. Sean was the greatest kid you'd ever meet in your life. Sean was hit and killed by this white car while riding his bike Sunday evening. The damage shows how violent the impact was. Police say 24-year-old Thomas Gork was driving drunk when it happened. Heartbroken family and friends lit memorial candles and called for all drivers to slow down. Speeding up this avenue. It's ridiculous. Too many people have lost their lives to it, and it has to stop. The speed limit is 25 miles an hour here on Garrettson Avenue, and the city has installed this automatic speed camera to give out tickets during school hours. But neighbors say that's not nearly enough. It's not fair. These people should not be dying like this. Ellie Turturro's son, Anthony, survived a frighteningly similar accident when he was 12. I was hit. In 2004, Anthony was riding his bike in the same spot as Sean Ryan on Garrettson Avenue. That crash led to some safety improvements, but residents want speed bumps or more traffic lights installed. Where are the cops? Where are the speed bumps? Marchers united in grief are passing a petition asking the city to make more safety improvements. Honestly, right now, it's not safe. This can't happen again. It's too devastating. And no more marches have to be held. In Garrettson Beach, Brooklyn, Brian Connie Bear, CBS 2 News. A DOT spokesman tells us they are aware of the petition and community concerns about safety. They're also reviewing the case.